ask yourselves one simple question. Do you love it? Amen. While you may not believe us, you must trust us. Training camp is one of the best moments in your life. And you're sitting in those chairs right now, you're likely saying to yourself, they're crazy. But trust us, we're not. And when the dust settles and the games are over and the DVDs passed out, you'll have one thing. It won't be the catches, the throws, the blocks, or the runs, but the memories of the hard times. The times when you came together, the times in training camp. When it gets difficult out there and Sark is on your ass. It's hard to make chicken soup out of chicken shit. You know what that means? I mean, when it's shitty, sometimes it's gonna be shitty, bro. Coach Rule's about to have a freaking heart attack. They don't fuck with us. We fuck with them. I want you to fucking come off the ball. I want to see war daddies out there kicking ass, just like you know how, you understand? War daddies, war daddy, war daddy, war daddy, war daddy, war daddy. Ask yourselves one simple question. Do you love it? Because if you truly love something, if you love it with all your heart and all your soul, then you will do anything to protect it. Do you love it? Gentlemen, I promise you that you will be sick of us and that you're going to talk shit about us in the locker room. But I also promise that when training camp ends, you will be ready. You will not have any fear in your mind and you will have mastered your trade. What are you? Move out! Agile! Hostile! What is pain? Fresh bread! What is fatigue? On the clothes! Will you ever quit? No! We want some more! Now we want you to have fun in training camp and enjoy the greatest game ever played, but you need to do that with a certain focus. Whether that is being a technique guy at a detailed position, or truly understanding that to be a Trojan, there are no choices. Either way, you must dare to be great. So I'd like each of you to talk about what you like best about football and what you're most proud of off the field. Now I've asked some of my Veterans here to start. Latimer? I don't know. It's the battle. The going to war with the other guys. Set! Hanging together. Believe! Having our own dorm. Hey! Staying in hotels the night before the games. Setting ourselves apart. Not everybody can play football. We're the lucky ones. Do you love it? Do you freaking love it? Well, the great thing about football is uh, that you can lose yourself in it. There's no time to, to think or to worry. You just, uh, you just move and react. And all everything else fades away. Best thing is when you hit a guy. You know it's killing you. But you feel great. It's just him and you. He's the one that's hurt. Now, when we get to that first game and you run out in front of 92 freaking thousand fans, don't be nervous. Do you love it? Be the guy who can do it all. And on each play, find out what you can do for your teammates and do it. To execute our offense with great urgency and great tempo, they will not stop us. Essentially, if you love football, you will do whatever it takes to protect it. So, when you're tired, both emotionally, physically, ask yourself, do you love it? Do you love it? And remember, the training camp is our foundation. 
It is our backbone. It is what develops our style. Fantastic showing. We come too far together to stop now. Our granny and Nate. Forget it. Let's do it. And whether it's getting to bed on time, waking up 15 minutes early to get your mind right, studying for 10 more minutes each night, or just laying it all on the line each play during practice, the moments in training camp are unforgettable. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, Every minute, every second. <laughs> On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. It's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's the team, gentlemen. Hell yeah. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. That's all it is. Now, what are you going to do? Training camp seems like a freaking lifetime. But the relationships and memories you develop each day in camp will be with you forever. So just let it freaking rip and prove to us who you are and protect the game you love. Because it will be with you forever. I love you guys. Do you love it? Now, 